Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, today we are going to be testing out the new and improved Peppy Gals team on Global, featuring the four new Extreme Z Awakenings that we just got for Fizz Bulma, the AGL feature Mai, the Tech Android 18, and finally, Int Fidel. So this is the team, the event is Extreme Super Battle Road, and uh, without further ado, let's Jump right into it. Here we go. Okay, so we actually have three of the EZAs for the first rotation. We got 18, Bulma, and Fidel. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. Who do I wanna keep? Um, I like Fidel as a healer. I like 18, because she hits really hard, and she's 18. So I guess Bulma will have to take a back seat in this rotation. And defensively, uh, 18 starting with 98,000 without orbs though, so it is going to be a lot higher. Uh, let me see, or should I put Videl in the first slot? But then, she gets a lot of her defense on the super, so why don't I pop an Icarus first? Let's uh, try to get, I guess 4 is the most orbs for 18, what's that going to do for her defensively? Uh, 154k, so that's not bad. It's not bad. And then we'll give four to uh, Videl, and we'll give a couple to the Bulma. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so pretty good. 116, 45. There's a super attack, which is gonna do 50k. That's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. All right, so first super. 1.8 mil, of course we didn't really get a lot of uh, orbs for her, so she definitely can hit much, much harder. We got an additional there, which was nice. And uh, we sealed Goku twice. Okay, so now we have Videl. Uh, her attack was about 1. Point... Was it 1.2 mil? It wasn't super high. It definitely wasn't super high. But, uh, ooh, yeah, okay, so Videl, uh, took significantly more damage than 18 on that super. But, um, yeah, her damage wasn't crazy as far as Videl goes, but that's not really a surprise. Um, what she is here for is the healing, mainly, and, uh, before she took that super, she actually healed us back to full HP, so, as you saw, her healing ability is still quite... Uh, impressive. It, it's still quite impressive. But no, she's not going to put up big numbers for you. But uh, defensively, she's okay. Could be better, but okay. And then the healing is what she's uh, mainly good at. Anyways, uh, on this rotation, we have a double STR Videls. So I'm feeling pretty good here. Uh, I believe the friend Videl is actually better than mine, so I'll put that one there. Let's go for Tien this turn. Since Goku's not really a threat anyways, with... Uh, with the seal on him, right? So we shouldn't really have to worry about him too much. If we can, I would like to kill Tien on this rotation, so we don't have to worry about him. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. There's the additional. Maybe a third super would be nice. By the way, guys, after the showcase, we are going to be doing uh, probably just one multi. Probably just one multi on the STR Vegeta banner. I said before that I was going to come back and do more videos, but I never got a chance. So now all I really care about is getting this stupid Vegeta. So uh, essentially what I'm going to be doing for the foreseeable future until the banner goes away is like every single video that I do, whether it's like an info video or a showcase video or whatever the case may be, I'm probably just going to end every single video with a multi on the Vegeta banner, you know? And uh, I'll, I'll just keep doing that until hopefully I get him. We'll see how that goes. But uh, man, I really want this Vegeta, man. It really pisses me off that like it's, it's this hard to get him. Now you guys saw the video. I did do a bunch of off-camera summons. Um, like, give me one sec. Let me actually <laughs> get our rotations down here. Okay, so I'm thinking that we actually keep my uh, man, it just sucks that we can't get a lot of orbs for 18, but her, her defense is still looking very good. It's looking very good. So maybe... 
I think we should still pop like a Princess Snake just to be safe. And then we'll give, I guess, three to Goku once again. And uh, let's try to stun Tien, actually. And I guess I'll give just these. Videl. Okay, so taking that very, very well. This is going to hurt because we have type disadvantage here. But not nearly as much as uh, I thought it would, actually. I thought that would hurt a lot more, guys. That's good. That's a good sign. Okay, we are getting another additional super. So this should finish him off, actually. It does. Goku's dead. And we can probably stun Tien here. Mai's always been a great stunner. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so she usually stuns. <laughs> she usually stuns. And uh, with the support, we now have a little bit more attack for Fidel, although we didn't really need the healing that turn. And, uh, yo, let's let... Let's let Bulma shine a little bit. Let me see what she can do. Let me see what she can do. As far as uh, damage goes right now. Okay, so... Decent tanking, okay. About 1.8 mil for her super. That's actually quite good. That's actually nice. Especially because she's not really built up yet. Um, she needs to take, I think, 5 hits and launch 5 attacks before she like gets her full passive. And uh, we're not even close to that right now, right? So it would actually be interesting to see what Bulma can do when fully stacked up. So I think on this next fight here... I'm going to be keeping the Bulma um, in my main rotations, so we can actually get a better feel for her. Okay, so let's see here. I feel like I can probably get at least one more orb for Bulma, or sorry, not Bulma, for uh, 18 if I put her in the second slot. So let's do this. Um, defense not looking too bad, but we're definitely going to pop a Whis, and then let's go for the stun on... Uh, it looks like there's a lot of Vegeta attacks, so we're going to try to stun Vegeta with our Mai here. Oh, I messed up. I was supposed to give this to Mai. Damn it, okay. Uh, I guess it's going to be three orbs again. That's unfortunate. And why don't we go for... Uh, let's go for Gohan with our SDR Fidel. Yeah, so... The thing that really upsets me right now, okay, out of out of anything, is the fact that we haven't really made Tech Android 18 look that good in this showcase so far. And she's my favorite because it's it's 18, you know, like I do have uh, a preference, you know, for certain characters <laughs> in Dragon Ball, and 18 is at the top of that list. So um, I wanted to like show you guys how amazing she is man because she can be a beast but it's just we've been getting unlucky we've been getting unlucky with the orbs and she's not doing that much damage or at least nearly enough or as much as she could so i'm gonna make a concerted effort now to uh, actually save a bunch of orbs for her so she can get off a really nice super okay so for example we have a lot of int orbs here so we'll just uh, work around these int orbs um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put Bulma there. And that's actually kind of dangerous, never mind. I'm gonna put Fidel there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give just one orb to Videl. Um, actually, I have to use up this end orb. And then we can go back to Vegeta, give these the launch that's going to be a, at least like eight or nine orbs or 18 next rotation okay i believe we still have the weiss active we do turn two so we shouldn't really take too much damage from anybody this turn i think the only one that can attack actually or, or rather super is uh is gohan and that's why i didn't put the Bulma in the first slot because I was worried that he would super us and that would be really unfortunate okay come on yep third super give me one more make it four 
And she does four supers in a row. So this is why I always bring phase launch. No matter who I'm trying to showcase, no matter like, you know, what the team is, as long as I can bring uh, launch, I usually do, because she's just so clutch, she's so good for Super Battle Road. All right, um, okay, so now we can finally give you guys a good look of the capabilities of Android 18. I'm gonna go to Krillin, we're going to give her nine orbs. That puts her defense at 308,000. 308,000, guys. And uh, to be safe, I'm gonna pop an Aider. And that's gonna give us 462,000. <laughs> All right. And uh, I guess we'll just go for, let's see. I think it's mostly Vegeta attacks in the second slot. Yeah, okay, let's go for Vegeta. And then we'll go back to Gohan. All right. This should be fun. Yeah, okay, over three mil for 18, beating up her husband or future husband. And there's the additional. So Krillin's definitely dead. See, that's what I was looking for, man. That That's what I wanted to show you guys. She's a monster. By far, by far can hit the hardest of the uh, Pippi Gals Extreme Z Awakenings. Although all of them are good in their own way, right? They all do something that helps towards uh, beating the stage. Whether it, whether it be healing or um, stunning or sealing. Um, all four of these Extreme Z Awakenings just, you know, are really useful. So, um, so far from what I can tell, this is going a lot more efficiently than, you know, previous runs without the Extreme Z Awakenings. And, uh, yeah, it's going well. It, it's going well. The test is going well. Okay, so I'm going to go for Vegeta with the bomb. Oh, crap. Should have saved those. Should have saved those. It's fine, though. It's fine. Um, let's go and tr let's try to kill Gohan, actually. He's been alive for too long. I feel like I've attacked him so many times, and he just doesn't go down. Ooh, this might hurt. Yeah, that was actually quite a bit of damage. Damn, okay. Now, luckily, we do heal some from that Videl super. And uh, double supers for Fizbulma, okay. And she does heal as well. I forgot about that. Uh, Fizz Bulma heals both on uh, her super attack, 5% HP, and she also heals with uh, rainbow orbs. So even though we took 250k from uh, a super last turn, we still have a good amount of HP right now. And I'm going to say that... Ooh, okay. Uh, this is going to be interesting. So do I keep launch I should keep launch I feel like launch should be in the rotation but at the same time we're showcasing the new Peppy Gals EZA so uh I'ma actually I'ma actually remove launch from the rotation I would normally keep her but let's keep the four EZAs since they're the the focus of this video all right so I'm really hoping that she stuns here because um I don't want to take a super thank you Thank you. And then 18 coming in with 3.1 mil. And that's that. That is that for a Vegeta. Okay. Was not expecting him to survive that. I, I thought for sure he was dead, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we still made it through. Final stage. And uh, we still have four items left, so we're in very, very good shape right now. We're going to start with the Whis first. And then... Okay, so let's do this. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go for Roshi first. And then... We'll go for... I guess Roshi again. And I'll switch to Oolong. Uh, yeah, let's switch it to o Oolong for Videl. <laughs> okay, so this is not going to be fun. I can tell. 69k Ashley is not too bad. Alright, this might not be fun. 215. Oh, man. 215. 
Okay, we healed up. We, we healed back up a bit. Um, still a little bit low on HP. Still definitely worried. These double supers from uh, Bulma definitely help though. And there's a dodge. Oh my god. <laughs> this has been a bad rotation, guys. <laughs> I gotta say, this has been a rough rotation. Now luckily, we have uh, Videl at, in the last slot, right? So she, she came up clutch, her defense, I knew it was gonna hold up. Um, okay, so we have to pop something. I think Android 8 is a good idea. And then we have a super attack in the first slot, which um, is from Yamcha. So, I'm just going to... Hmm... You know what? I'm just going to put Android 18 there. I'm confident in her ability to take that with no issues. Actually, what, can't we just seal him? Yeah, we can just seal him anyway, so... <laughs> let's do that. Okay, let's seal... Um, Yamcha, and then she also gets the Dokkan attack. And then we will... Uh, stun... Oolong, I guess. And then I will give a couple of orbs to uh, Videl. All right, so there's a dodge. I like to see that. And let's get the token attack off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful, very nice. And attack stat is 2.37. Okay, so yeah, not as high as uh, some previous turns because before we were getting nine. Uh, this time we only got six, I believe. Her defense is still very, very good though at this point. And, uh, you know, the damage, not terrible. We crit for 2.3 mil. Almost killed Oolong, actually. Yo, what is this crazy, crazy dodging? Hold on. Did she have a high chance to dodge? I thought it was a, I, I, I thought it was a medium chance. Which would mean 30%. And we dodged, I don't know how many attacks in a row was that, was that four or five? Something like that? How is that even possible? <laughs> how is that even possible? One sec, one sec, I, I need to confirm this. I, I need to confirm this. Um, evades. Oh! Evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and stuns the attack. Wait a second. We were not below 18% HP. How how does she dodge? Okay, uh <laughs> Yo, I must have missed something. I must have missed something. Unless we started the turn with under 18%. Did we start the turn with less than 18%? We might have. We might have. I need to go back and look. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter right now. Doesn't matter right now. What's important is that we finish this run. So let's pop a Icarus. And then we're gonna let, uh, yeah, I'm gonna let Bulma get some shine. I, she might not fare the best, but it's fine. Let's uh, give her one orb here. Give a couple, Videl, and then uh, I guess I'll give these the launch. But yeah, I guess we did start with less than 18%. And yo, there were people out there that were saying, hey, 18%, you're never gonna use that. You're never gonna, never gonna see that. What do you know? It can come in clutch. I just didn't realize. <laughs> and I already popped an item. But she got all the dodges, man. She got all the dodges. It's guaranteed dodge under 18% HP. Um... And, yeah, that was pretty cool. 18 going in Ultra Instinct. I like that. Ultra Instinct 18. <sighs> but yeah, no, most of the time, you're probably not going to see a situation like that. Because <laughs> if you're below 18% HP, a lot of times you're dead. Um, and, you know, usually you try to stay above 18% HP if possible. And it's just too dangerous to, like, get that close. But uh, it happened there, so clearly it can happen. Clearly it can happen. 
All right, so I'm gonna give all the orbs to, to 18 now. She has 326,000 HP. That's what I like to see. We're going to go for the stun um, of Yamcha, and then there we go. 52, 11, 38, 3.2 mil. That should kill Roshi. It does. And uh, if we get a stun on Yamcha here, then it's it's over. I mean, it's over anyways, but it'll be like extra over. We did get the stun. Okay, so that's going to do it, guys. Uh, like I said, before we go, though, I'm definitely going to do uh, one multi. One multi on the str super vegeta banner so uh stay tuned for that for sure and a final final rotation here i'm gonna let bulma finish things off if she can i don't know why i used the item i i, I kind of forgot we stunned him actually i forgot we stunned him that that's the honest truth uh that's why we need the attack break thing that's coming to to JP, right? The the new feature where like when you stun somebody, their attacks get destroyed. Like the attacks that are around your units, they explode. It's an attack break or what's it called again? Attack break, right? Yeah. So the attack break thing, like that's actually really useful for people like me who don't necessarily pay attention all the time. And uh, I could have saved the princess snake right there, but it's fine. I'll get it back. And uh, there goes your team showcase, guys. Uh, Peppy Gals is looking really good right now. Really, really good. Is it the most powerful category in the game? Far from it still, right? Like, it's not a top, top tier category. But it's a lot of fun. Um, these new Extremes the Awakenings do really, really well in Extreme Super Battle Road, especially regular Super Battle Road. So uh, if you guys are struggling with either of those, then, uh, you know, get to get to work on the EZAs, on the Extreme Z Battle event. And then use them on your team it should make a big difference and uh now with that said let's pop over <laughs> to the str vegeta banner wish me luck guys if you want to do a group summon feel free to jump in at any time and uh let's get this vegeta okay don't give me hope don't do that game don't don't <sighs> it's gonna be str bojack man <laughs> i just know it. it's gonna be str bojack <sighs> okay I just gotta mentally prepare myself for that eventuality, for that smug grin on Bojack's face. Here we go. Pulling down. Let's go together. In three, two, one. Let it rip. SDR Bojack, number five on this banner, probably. Let's go. Oh my god. It's even worse. <laughs> it's Vegeta. I would have preferred a SDR Bojack, actually. I would have preferred SDR Bojack. But it's fine. I expected it, man. I, I expected this. this. This is not a surprise by any means. Not a surprise at all. And this should do it. Nope, one more. There it is. Golden Frieza. Three SSRs. Nothing I can use. But that's just how it goes, man. That's just how it goes. I will be back, guys. I will be back, as I said, for the next, I don't know, couple of days at least. I'll be doing a multi on every video I can do a multi on just to try to get this guy. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the showcase. Hopefully you guys uh, are impressed with the new Peppy Gals team on Global. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. Hey, you know what? One sec. I gotta put 18 on the screen for the respect, because I feel like she is the best one out of four. Might be a bit biased, but anyways. Um, yeah, like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.